Hello everyone, this is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use custom stencils on pottery. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos each week. So I have already used my Cricut machine to um, cut out the stencils. I have a bisque planter pot right here. And this is made from speckled clay. So I want to put some stencil on here um, as a resist and then I will glaze it with white glaze. So these are the stencil I got from the Cricut Design Space and I cut them on my final sheet. I have already used my weeding tool to weed out the space here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna cut them out and weed out the background. Afterwards, I'm going to transfer this stencil design onto my pot. So here's my stencil. I'm just going to cut them up into individual pieces first. So when I pick out stencils on Cricut Design Space, um, I, what I look for is especially the ones I need to put on pottery is that I'm looking for designs that have wider lines. So I'll show you what I mean. If you look at this design here, the outline here is much wider compared to, let's say, this one here. And the reason why I want designs that are that have wider lines is because um, it's number one, easier to cut on the machine. And number two, um, because I'm using it as a resist, so I want the lines to be clear and thick so that it shows up on the pot easier. So now I've cut them up into individual pieces. I'm going to just weed out the background just like that. So what I want left is just the design of this planter. And since this is going to be on a planter, I'm going to use it for succulent plants. So that's why I'm just picking out designs that looks like succulent plants. Okay, just like that. So that's my design. So I'm going to do the rest. So I finished weeding out the background and I love these designs. They look really cute. You can found, find all of them on Cricut Design Space. They all look super cute. So next I can use transfer tape to transfer these design onto my bisque pot, or I can just pull them out because the lines here are really thick and these are just simple designs. And I just pull them out like that and put them where I want them to be. Like that. Crooked it. Like that. I think I should have used transfer tape because it's kind of sticky. Just like that. So just move it out. You could do this on leather hard pot, or you can do it on bis pot. So the designs I chose are simpler designs rather than the ones that have more details because um, I'm transferring onto a pot. So I don't want anything too detailed. I just want to show the design. So I'm going to do the rest right now. So I have finished putting the stencils on the bis pot. So I make sure to smooth it out, make sure it is really on the pot. And I also put masking tape on the bottom here because I want to show the bare clay after firing this part here. Next, I have my white glaze. I'm using a Spectrum Kong 5 white glaze. You can use any white glaze you have at home. And I'm using a big fan brush to brush on the glaze. So make sure I stir it really well before I brush it on. 
and what I do is I just push on on like that so when I brush on glazes um, I like to do one direction for the first coat and then a different direction for my second coat and I need to make sure when I am brushing and glazing I need to wait for the first layer to dry before I go on to my second layer so that's my first layer of glaze so I'll let that dry and do my second and third layer in video today I have Boba who's keeping me company so if you want to see more of Boba you can subscribe to her channel and I'll put the link in my description below so it's been about 10-15 minutes now and I've already put on three coats of white glaze. It's mostly dry to the touch except for the areas where the stencil is. And I think that's because the stencil is plastic, that's why it's harder to dry. So next I'm going to use my weeding tool to take out the stencil and put that on my table. I'm doing this carefully because I don't want to break my stencil. Okay, that's it. So I'm just gonna put my stencil on my table and then I will use a wet sponge to clean this off later. Let's do the other ones. So this is what it looks like without the stencil and I also peeled off the bottom masking tape. I think it will look really cute after firing. And then as for the used stencil, I have a wet sponge here and what I'll do is I'll just lightly gently clean that off like that until there's no more glaze on the stencil. And I'll wait for it to dry a little bit before I use it on my second pot. So sometimes what I found is after cleaning the stencil, the back side of the final stencil is not sticky anymore. So it doesn't stick to the pot anymore. So what I do is I will spray a little bit of the water on the back side and then just stick it onto the pot. So I'll show you in a bit. So now that the stencils are dried, I can pick it up and I will spray water on the underside. So these ones, the stencils, the lines are really thin, so I have to be very careful. That's why I said earlier, I like to pick designs that have thicker line because it's so hard to pick them up. Okay, so now I've picked that up. So that's the underside that is supposed to be sticky, but now it's not as sticky as before. So what I would do is I have a bottle of water here and I just split some water on the underside here. And that's my pot. And I would stick that on here like that. And you can move it around a little bit more to adjust the position. Like that. So I'm happy with this position. So next I'll do is since if you look at here, it's not actually adhering to the pot. So what I would like to do next is I'll spray more water. On the stencil and just smooth it down like that so now you can see it is on the pot so make sure you smooth it down 
there's not enough water to spray some more like that so that looks really good so next I'll quickly use some glaze to what I do is I just kind of dab a little bit like that because I want it I don't want to move the position of the lines so just kind of slow dab a little bit of glaze on top to help it stick a little bit better and for this one this is a new stencil so it's still okay so I can just brush it on so I just took off the stencil and this is what it looks like as you can see the lines for this one is not as clear as the first time when I used the stencil so I had to use a sharp pointy tool like a knife to scrape off some of the glaze area on the line so that the lines is clear and this one is also a second time used for stencil I think this one looks better because the lines for the stencil are thicker so it adhere to the pot better so far I really like the stencil idea I think adding this design on the pot looks really cute so let me know what you think of the design on these pots and you can comment below. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Bye bye.